Welcome to the latest edition of the New Haven Independent Vlog News Summary. Direct from our newsroom, otherwise known as my compost heap. Let's see what big stories we're working on this week. Aha! According to my secret sources in the government, it's snowing today. What else are we working on? Oh, check this out, a paper bag I just happened to leave here. Hey! I thought there were $27,000 in bills in this bag. Where did they go? Uh-oh. It says Estupido on it. You know what? I think I've been reading too many crazy crime novels or TV shows. No, actually, I've been reading the latest affidavit from the FBI about a sting they pulled on New Haven cops. Oh boy, what a mess. Let me tell you, the scandal this week with the police in New Haven it is a mess. There are important issues that are going to be teased out in the next few weeks and some political implications, too. But in the short term, let me just make three points that are on my mind. First of all, someone is innocent until proven guilty. And whatever the truth emerges with Lieutenant Billy White, nobody is all good or all bad. And Billy White, over his career, has helped a lot of people and solved a lot of crimes in New Haven. So whatever else emerges in this case, there's a reason that a lot of people came out in his support this week. Second point. The drug war is a mess. It does no good. It just leads to trouble. Third point, the full picture that people tried to emphasize in the first few days, while there is a problem in the narcotics unit, while there are going to be more arrests, most New Haven cops work hard, they do a good job, and they deserve our support. Just this week, while all the headlines were full of all the FBI investigation news and the arrests, William Palmer, the bike cop in the hill, Carlos Ortiz, Jason Koenig, Frank Nisi, Pete Balalili, all these people Nick, have been making important arrests that don't always make the headlines. They're keeping their eyes open in the middle of the night while we're asleep and catching crooks, returning people stolen cars. We owe them a debt of gratitude and that does not get lost in this scandal. And I have another last piece of advice for people arrested by the FBI. Do the Crespo method. Crespo is the head of the board of directors at Yale New Haven Hospital and he just sent a letter to the mayor. It turns out the hospital hadn't been completely fessing up, Yale New Haven, to the extent to which management was involved in a major campaign that was plotted to violate the terms of a fair election agreement when it came to an election, to whether or not to unionize the blue-collar workers at the hospital. They broke an agreement that destroyed all the goodwill of the city, but in a letter to the mayor that just got released, Crespo laid it out and then said, Mistakes were made. That's a familiar phrase. Ronald Reagan used it. All sorts of people used it. The Times had an article about mistakes were made. It's not that great an apology. It doesn't make you feel like the person feels like he made a mistake. In fact, it's being used so much by people who aren't really apologizing. There's a new word for it, according to the Times. The past exonerative. So if you're arrested by the FBI, do the press for method to say mistakes were made. What else we got here? Oh, we got a ribbon. I want to give this ribbon to Evan and True Blue Connecticut and other people who comment on the site of the New Haven Independent. Last night they posted comments about an article I wrote where the headline was too sensationalistic and I wasn't careful enough with my language. Thanks to them, I was able to fix the article and hopefully make it better. And every day, thanks to our commenters, we have great debate on the issues in New Haven. We find typos on our site that get fixed, and we're more of a community. You know, we are a little mashuga here on Planet Independence. We're a little bit of a motley crew, the writers, the people we write about, the people who comment. But we have a lot of soul, and we believe. And plus, the original motley crew had a diuresis above the U. Until next time, this is the New Haven Independent Vlog News Summary, and remember, always pick up your trash.